Hey everybody, Alex Comstock here with Whitetail DNA, and on this weekly educational video, I want to talk about a few reasons why you should be aggressive in the early season. You know, kind of that mid-September, early September, even to early October time frame. Um, there's a few different reasons that I think, you know, in order to make stuff happen, sometimes you just have to be aggressive. And I want to talk about a few things in particular. The first one being strike when the iron's hot. When it comes to early season hunting, um, let's just say, you know, cell cams are huge in this day and age. I feel like most people are running them. If you get pictures of a buck in daylight on cell cam or you check a camera and you get pictures of a buck in the last couple days in daylight, I say strike right now. I mean, who knows how long that buck is gonna be in that spot. Um, you know, it's just, when it comes to early season hunting, a deer can be, you know, it can be just so hit or miss. And I think that if a buck's doing something odds of them doing it for a long duration are probably pretty slim. Um, so I'd strike right away. And I think it's just something I've done where, you know, you get pictures of a buck or you, you know, you know, you get pictures of a buck, you strike and you make it happen. I just think that striking when the iron is hot is something that you should definitely do. And that's going to kind of lead into my second reason is that bucks this time of year are shifting their home ranges. Now this is by a buck by buck scenario. Not every buck shifts their home range. Not every buck shifts their home range the same amount. Every buck is so different. Some bucks will shed their velvet and then shift their home range the next week. Some bucks will kind of stay in their summer area all the way till maybe the beginning of October then shift. Um, it's just a buck by buck scenario and sometimes you don't really know when or if they're gonna shift. And so if you're, if you're on a deer and you know what they're doing or if you have an idea of what they're doing, strike before they shift. For me, you wanna make it happen before you kinda of run out of time. Um, I've killed one, two, three, four. I've, ki I've killed four bucks now, I think, in September, early October, in the last handful of years. Um, and it's just, you know, I really, I really attribute that to you know, having an idea, seeing something, making it happen because I striked when the iron was hot. I didn't wait. Um, you know, I know some people will get pictures of a buck and they'll, you know, they'll want to wait till the perf the conditions are absolutely perfect. And then, before, you know, maybe five days go by and then now that buck's not doing that anymore. Um, strike when the iron's hot. Don't let that buck shift their home range on you. Don't let that buck, you know, give him, don't give that buck time for him to move his home range before you're able to make something happen. I think that's gonna really help your chances of success. Something else that I wanna get into when it comes to being aggressive early in the year is that I just hear it from so many different hunters that, you know, they hear about how good early season is, but they're never able to make something happen, right? You're never able to do something. You're always probably going on that same tree stand, you know, um, and I think in order to change your results, you need to change the way you hunt. So for me, it's changing to being a super mobile hunter. I'm hoping that helps, and it has, changed my results. You know, I'm bouncing around a lot. I'm trying to really be aggressive. Um, and a lot of times people, their mindset is they don't wanna be aggressive early in the year to booger a buck for later in the year. And if you've got one property that you can only hunt all year, I, I get that, okay? But if you've got multiple properties or you have a, you know, I just, I think not being aggressive really kills a lot of people. And I think they're just scared to make that move and to really jump into a spot. And if you can just get past that mentally, I think jumping into a spot is okay. Being aggressive is okay. But it doesn't mean you have to be, you know, hunting in a, you know, with the worst wind direction or whatever. It's just, don't be afraid to be aggressive. There's only one way that you're gonna change your results. And maybe you're someone watching this and you've killed a bunch of early season bucks doing what you do. Well then, don't listen to me. But if you haven't and you're looking to change some results, I the biggest thing I want you to take away from this video is yeah, some tactical stuff with buck shifting home ranges and getting on it. But the biggest thing is just a mindset. Your mental mindset, your mental makeup is really how I think you kill deer. And it really just accentuates that in early season because for whatever reason, people are totally okay with going in and being super aggressive during the rut, right? Which makes sense. People are totally okay with being aggressive late season because it's at the end of the season and who cares? I get that, right? But for whatever reason, people are afraid to get aggressive early in the year. They don't wanna ruin the rest of their season. What I don't think you're gonna really ruin the rest of your season. Yeah, you might booger a buck, but again, that's a buck, it's a spot. So 
maybe what I'm just kind of going off here, maybe something that you need to think about is have more spots for early season hunting. You know, I have a ton of spots. So if I go into, and maybe that's, that helps me and freeze my mindset. But if I go into a spot and I screw it up, it's on to the next, you know what I mean? And so I think just having that, that mindset, having enough spots to hunt and just being able to be aggressive is only going to help you when it comes to early season hunting. So that's all I got for you on this one. A little bit of a shorter video, but I appreciate you watching. Um, I hope to see you here in the next video next week in our next weekly educational video that we're going to be rolling through here all fall. So if you do me a huge favor, hit that like and subscribe below. That really means the world to me and I'll see you here in the next video.